In this tutorial, let us learn about icons. So icons are visual representations of something on a screen. Now using icons is of utmost importance because it lets the user know what does what in an app. Also one of the most common uses of icons is as a button. So we will take a look at that as well. Now let us try to add an icon within this container. So how we add an icon to a container is by passing the icon as a child to this particular container. So we say child, say icon. Now amongst the massive array of icons that we have at our disposal, uh, I would choose to use male underscore outline for this particular example. So now when we reload this, you can see that a teeny tiny icon has appeared in the middle of the container. Now to make it more visible, let us just increase the size of it a bit. So we say we set the size to 80.0 and what this will do is that it will increase the size of this particular icon so that it is more visible. You can change the size of this icon to whatever size that you desire. Now like I mentioned before, <clears throat> the main usage of icons is as buttons. So let us make this icon a button and make it tappable. So to do that, we make use of icon button widget. We pass that as a child to this container. And inside this widget, we pass okay, a slight error here. Okay, we are good to go. So inside this widget, what we do is that we pass icon And we say, on pressed. So what on pressed does is that it assigns a certain action to this icon, which is now a button as well. So for this example, let us make a print statement for the terminal. And let's say print tapped. Yeah, that pretty much makes sense. So now we reload this. So now if you would take a look now at the icon, when I click on it, it becomes tappable. And also on the terminal, whenever we tap it, you can see that it says tapped. So now this button has been assigned a certain action, which is writing tapped on the terminal. So this is how you can use icons and make it as a button as well. And we will learn more about this in the next video.